Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Welcome back to Movie Monday. Watching Ultraman Tiga Gaiden, Revival of the Ancient Giant. It's a long title, but that's what I'm watching. It's a technically an episode, but we're counting it as a movie. Uh, it's only an hour long. Also, a couple that I'll do in future um, that's been suggested: uh, Return of Hanajiro from Diner and Armored Darkness Mebius. So, at some point, we'll also do those. But I'm doing this one first. Um, but yeah, it's a direct-to-video special. Uh, it's like uh, it, it sets years after the end of Tiger. Actually, years after Dinah as well. And Dagger and I have a kid. Interesting. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It feels like it's a bonus episode. It's an extra episode on top of the series. But it happened years after. So uh, I'm intrigued. Uh, we're going to pretend it's a movie, even though it's actually not... But I am excited uh, to see Daigo and Tiga once again. So let's do this. Who on earth is this? Well, you can't park there, sir. That's a pretty cool looking kaiju. I know I can't see the whole thing. But I mean, it looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> it looks like a T-Rex on steroids. Uh, it's, it's very Jurassic Worldy, actually. <laughs> this guy, though, he looks hilarious. I'm not sure I'm a fan of this design. But this design, yeah, sure. I like how old-fashioned this is. Because I do wonder, like, you know... Like Ultraman Kaiju battles in like ancient eras. This happens in the future, <laughs> uh, long after you know the, an ancient era. But like, it's got an ancient vibe to it because uh, a kaiju is coming to the village, and the villagers are preparing with uh, uh, weapons, swords. I don't know if they got swords, but it, it looks very like ancient. And they also using rocks, massive catapulting rocks. <laughs> That they're preparing it to, for when the kaiju arrives. Uh, I just like how old-fashioned it is because uh, th th there's a guts member who was uh, who was training who came across a kaiju and he crashed near the village, and like he's you know he he's using futuristic te technology on his plane, and he's landed on a village that's a lot more you know old school with what they do. I just like that vibe. That's interesting. Uh, this this has potential. I still got 45 minutes left. Um, so far, it's just it's just okay. Uh, the villains haven't really gripped me at all, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, the story's okay, but I'm kind of hoping for it's missing something. It's, miss, it's missing a, a spark, but maybe the spark will happen. I don't know. I'm I'm not making sense there, but m maybe it will start getting better from now because we're about to have a big battle scene. At least I, I think it'll be a big one anyway. Okay, this, this dinosaur's... I mean, I'm going to call it a dinosaur because it looks like one. But th this kaiju's movement is not what I expected. I expected it to move like, you know, a T-Rex. This one is crawling on all, f on all fours. It looks very strange, but at least it's unique. Literally though, like, it looks so awkward when it's crawling. <laughs> Bro, honestly, it just it looks so awkward. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or I don't. Because <laughs> you look at the head. And it's a crazy design, and then you just you watch it walk, and it's just like, oh dear. I feel like their fire effects are a bit dodgy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like compared to the main Tiger show, these effects are uh, not as good, uh, to put it nicely. Now this was a cool scene. Wait, but first of all, I had to pause it again because uh, I have a couple questions. Because obviously, this is the son of Renner and Daigo. And he is the guy who crashed, you know, he crashed his plane into the village and he obviously, well, not on purpose obviously, but he led the kaiju to the village. The girl who I can't, I still don't know who she is, she's not said her name in fairness, but she's some crazy warrior. Uh, she found a transform device, you know, the, similar to the one that Tiga used. I don't know if it's the same one, I don't know if it's the same one that Daigo had, but, uh, but exactly the same shape, slightly different colours. Uh, and then... It falls back into the hands of uh, Renner and Daigo's son, and he realizes because he knows his dad was Ultraman. He, he knows his dad turned into giant of light, and then he used this device to transform in the village. Like it's, it's all explained there, but like, is he also Tiger? But he's a different Ultraman, so maybe he's not Tiger. Maybe well, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know, but I, I, I'm guessing maybe he's just Tiger. He's just. He's inherited Tiger from his father. That's what it feels like. But I also feel like he deserves his own name. <laughs> he has his own name when he's a human. But like, Ultraman what? Ultraman something else I think would have been cool. There's an idea for an entire show. 
the next modern show next year after Blazer, it's about the son of another Ultraman from previous. It could be it could be anyone's son. It could be Taro's son. It could be Mebius' son. It could be uh, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it could be Ginga's son. I don't know. The son of an Ultraman. It takes place like fifty years later. Not not fifty years. Sorry, that's that would be grandson. See, there's another story. Sorry, I should stop talking. I guess we're getting a story now, though, in this movie. I think the villagers deserve a bit of credit, D despite their old-fashioned technology. They've knocked it down multiple times. They also almost killed the kaiju. They shot it in the arrow. Shot it in the head with an arrow, and then the villain, one of the villains, reversed it. So that's kind of cheating. <laughs> I'm kidding, but still, like, they've almost killed the kaiju, and they've. Knocked it down a few times, even without Ultraman, they're, they're holding their own. Oh my days. I just realised something. I just, re wait, let me show you a clip first. I, I just realised everything from that clip. The three giant statues in the pyramid from the start of Tiger. I just realised there was time travel in this. I actually didn't realise that. I was talking earlier, right, like, oh damn, these villagers are old fashioned. It's because they're in the past, David. <laughs> I didn't realize that until about 42 minutes in. I don't know how I missed that detail. I, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> uh, I know, like, I just I assumed, like, it's just a random village, you know, that's closed off. But actually, now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. So Amui, the kid, and to be fair, the kid has been the main character of this, of this, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm, I want to call it a movie, but it's a show. It's, it's an episode, but uh, he's been the main character this whole time. So, like, yes, uh, Tiger and Renna's son did transform, but also Tiger and Renna's son is from the future, years in the future. He's time. He he got caught up with a kaiju and he went through a time warp, and he landed in this village. He crashed into this village in the past, and he transformed into Ultraman. And I was like, oh wow, this is really cool. But then it actually wasn't supposed to be him. It wasn't meant for him. The true Ultraman of from that era is the kid, Amui. He was the protector. So it, it, the statue at the start of Tiger was of him. That connects quite well. <laughs> I feel like half of this has not been that good. But now it's really getting good towards the end. Bro, the way he just dunked him on his head, that is outright... Outrageous. <laughs> and it is over. Uh, yeah, um, I think most of it was just, you know, yeah, it was, it was alright. Uh, there were some cool characters in it, for sure. Uh, the kid, uh, who was the main character, uh, obviously uh, Diagon Renner's son. He wasn't even like, obviously he's Diagon Renner's son, but like he's not like, he's a key character, but he's not like the key to the story, even though he becomes Ultraman for a little bit. It must have been pretty cool. Um, uh, the, 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 uh, I still don't know her name. <laughs> Did they mention her name? I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe I should stop recording these at really late, really late at night. But, uh, the, the girl warrior with the sword, she was, uh, she, she was brilliant in this, uh, good acting. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, it was better towards the end. I think most of it was just, it had some good parts here and there. Uh, the villains weren't necessarily that crazy to me anyway. Um... But there was a little bit of nice story in there, but it got better the last 15 minutes, the last 20 minutes, I think. That's when it started to like really get good um, from that reveal about, you know, um, who the giant actually was and onwards after that, uh, it really got better. But before that, it wasn't too great. I don't know what to rate it, to be honest. But uh, yeah, that was uh, interesting uh, to watch. I also like at the end in the credits, they showed like outtakes, not outtakes, but they showed behind the scenes. Yeah, like the practical effects. You see a guy in an Ultraman suit, you see a guy in a kaiju suit, and you see how they do did the stunts and everything, and how it was filmed. I was just like, that was really cool. They're really like showing off the practical effects of Ultraman. I've never actually properly seen that. I can imagine what it's like, but I've never actually, never actually seen a video on it. Uh, but in the credits, they showed the practical effects, how they did the kaiju, how they did Ultraman. Um, it, it was it was really cool. I, did, I, thought, I thought that was awesome. That, that was really cool. Um, I don't know why I've never watched any behind the scenes. Actually, I've never watched behind the scenes of Ultraman or even like the old Godzilla movies and stuff, where it's just you know people in suits. Um, 
there's something special about it. I just don't really see much of the actual like making of it. But that was cool. The credits of that was cool. So uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, there's uh, let's just say I got a few more episodes planned, but I obviously there's I missed one week, so I still got to do a double. I still haven't done it, but I think there's other movies I mentioned. They're not really movies, they're episodes. I might do both of them in uh, in next week. I might do like two in one day. Uh, we'll see, but no guarantees. But we will level it out. 52 a year, that is the aim, even in a leap year, which is next year. Or do I do 54 next year? Because I don't want to do 53. If there's 53, actually, there might not be. There might still be 52 Mondays. I, I, I need to double check that. Because it's only one day extra the whole year. I don't. I don't think that means an extra Monday. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, yeah, um, if that ever happens, if there's more Mondays than there should be, then we'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll find a way to make it even anyway. Even we miss a week or we added. I don't know why it matters so much right now. This is relevant. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And see. You. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're.